Hello and welcome back to another episode of NASA Space News. Recently, a group of researchers from the SETI Institute, Breakthrough Listen, and many universities across the world scanned 12 exoplanets for indications of technological activity, aka technosignatures. They timed their observations so that the planets would be in front of the Sun, as seen from Earth, making a transit, in other words. A clear technosignature was not found during the study. However, two interesting radio signals were found that require further investigation. The team was headed by Sophia Zed Sheikh, a graduate student at the SETI Institute and the Berkeley SETI Research Center, UC Berkeley, together with members from other institutions and centers. Since the very first survey in 1961, the hunt for radio signals has been a standard SETI practice. This was the Drake Equation's namesake project, Project Ozma, conducted by the late great Cornell astrophysicist Frank Drake. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, has grown rapidly in recent years, thanks to the availability of cutting-edge radio telescopes and innovative data processing tools, many of which integrate machine learning. Researchers have proposed looking for anything from gravitational waves and neutrinos to directed energy as possible technosignatures. Despite this, radio broadcasts are still the most sought-after technosignature, and thanks to improved hardware and computational methods, radio surveys have made tremendous progress in recent years. Finding signs of man-made radio transmissions is challenging since it calls for large arrays, long periods of observation, and a lot of dedication and patience from research teams. The bulk of the search area, not only in terms of geographical space, but also conceivable sorts of technosignatures, is yet undiscovered, and this is causing significant anxiety among SETI researchers. This, as argued by Sheikh and her colleagues, opens the door for future endeavors that may be able to occupy previously uncharted parameter space. Some SETI researchers think that advanced civilizations are most likely to be located at the galactic center or at frequencies like 1420 megahertz. This frequency, which is also known as the hydrogen or 21 centimeter line, is associated with the transition from the ground to the excited state of neutral hydrogen. Radio waves at this frequency are considered favorable by SETI researchers since they can penetrate large clouds of dust in the interstellar medium or ISM. Sheikh and her team used the Kepler Space Telescope data on 12 exoplanets for their research. To establish the existence of these exoplanets and place constraints on their size and orbital period, a technique called transit photometry was utilized. These Kepler exoplanets were seen by the GBT when they passed in front of their host stars on March 25, 2018. The goal was to check whether any radio signals coincided with these transits which would be indicative of a sophisticated civilization making effort to establish contact. Transmitting a continuous message requires a lot of energy, but the strategy limits the transition to a small, predictable window for both parties. This not only increases the likelihood of detecting communications sent into space, but also drastically decreases the cost of transmitting them. In their hunt for radio technosignatures, Sheik and her team are the pioneers of this method. While they were unable to find any technological signs, their groundbreaking research did pave the way for future surveys to be conducted with much greater ease. That's all for now. Make sure you don't miss any updates by subscribing to the channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, consider checking out our previous videos. And for up-to-the-minute updates, visit our website at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.